Hello everyone. Welcome to Instem Lab channel. My name is Abhishek and today we will be learning about how to make Eggrush game in the Scratch software. So first of all, we need to delete the cat sprite and we need to choose a sprite from the object section. First, I'm going to select a bowl and we will place it a little bit down. Let's add a couple of more things. Let's add a egg. For that, we need an egg. We can directly go to food and then here's the egg. Instead of egg, you can use any fruit, vegetable or any other sprite. Let's add a backdrop. I'm going to use a blue sky backdrop that is suitable. If you want to use any other backdrop, you can. Now, what we are going to do, we will be adding, we will be writing the first code for the bowl. So what I want, whenever I click the right arrow key, my sprite that is a bowl has to go to the right side and same with the left side whenever I press the left arrow key. For that, what we will be doing, when green flag is clicked, we will be writing a one script for this one. We will add a forever block from the control block palette. And then from the control block palette also, we will be adding two condition block. That is a if and then. So if and then are the condition block. Now, what we want, we want whenever I click the right arrow key, it has to move to the right side. So we will go to sensing and we will select key space pressed. After this, we will change it to right arrow key and same with the left arrow key. So first, this will be the right arrow. And the second one, again, we will be using one more block from the sensing and we will change this to left arrow. Now we will go to motion block palette and we will select one block that says change X by 10 for the right arrow and the same thing for change X by 10 for the left arrow. But for the left arrow, we need to change it to minus 10 here. You must be understanding what is the meaning of 10 here. This is a 10 pixel so that my sprite is going to change in the x direction it can be positive x it can be negative x if it's going to the left side that is minus x so it's changing a 10 pixel here that's a unit here so if i click on the green flag and if i'm clicking on the right arrow key it's moving right side and same with the left side so that's how we can move the bowl now we will be writing the code for this egg first so we will be requiring three to four eggs first we will write the code for this egg then we can duplicate this so for the egg, first what we want, I want this egg to fall down from top to bottom. So suppose if my egg is here, it has to fall down slowly like this. And whenever it will reach to this position, it has to disappear from again and directly it will come here to any random position. Then again, it will start falling. So first for that, we will go to event block palette. We will select one block that says when green flag is clicked, then from the control we will be adding forever inside forever we will be adding two things first i want this egg to fall down from top to bottom that is a change in y direction so we will be adding change y by minus five so let's have a look how does it work yes so if i'm clicking on the green flag it's falling down if you want to increase the speed you can change it to minus seven minus ten it's up to you now, from the control block palette, we will be adding a one condition and here we will go to operator first and we will be adding one block that is the operator that is something is less than 50 and we will change this 50 to minus 170 and in this empty space, we will go to motion and we will add one block that says Y position. Now, what is the meaning of Y position is less than 170 from the object? object block palette you will have a look if i'm change this minus 170 the position of y this is the position of this egg so if my y position of this egg is less than 170 that is minus 171 then what will happen it will go to a random position from the motion block palette we will select go to random position now let's have a look so my eggs are falling down the sprite that we have selected from top to bottom but it's coming randomly now what i want i want every time it's coming from top it has to come from the top only this part so what we are going to do we will add a one block that says 
set y2 and we will change this to 180. Now, every time it's going to fall from the top exactly like this. If you want to increase the speed, so we can change it, suppose let's say minus eight. Now it will move a little faster. So it's up to you how you are designing your game. So after this, what we want, we will be adding a, another script so that whenever my bowl is going to catch the egg, the score is going to increase or it has to increase whenever my bowl catches the egg. For that, we will make a variable first. We will go to variable block palette and we will add a variable that is a score and we will just click OK. So you can see from the in the object in the stage section, we have a score that is a zero. And first we will write a second script for the egg when green flag is clicked. Then what we will do, we will go to variable and we will add set my variable to zero and we will going to change this to score. Why? What is the meaning of this? Whenever I click the green flag, it will set my score to zero every time I'm going to click the green flag. Then it's going to change whenever my bowl is catching the egg. Now, after this, we will go to control block palette and we will add a if and then condition. Make sure before if and then condition, we need to add a forever block because we want every time my sprite is going to touch the other sprite, it has to do something. So that's why we are going to add a condition block. Now, what is the condition? We will go to sensing and we will block. We will pick and drop one block that says touching mouse pointer and we will change this to bowl. Why? Because my egg is going to touch the bowl. We are writing the code for the egg. If we are writing a code for the bowl, then we will change this to egg. It can be vice versa. Now, what is going to happen whenever my bowl is going to touch the egg, my score has to increase. Okay, so we will go to variable block palette and we will add one block that says change my variable and we will change this to score only. Now, if I click on the green flag, just have a look. See, my score is increasing too fast. It's 14 because it's going to touch the bowl continuously. We don't want that. So what we want, we will be writing the same script as we did here. So whenever, as soon as my egg is going to touch the bowl, the egg is going to disappear from there and it will go to a random position as it was starting. So let's say we have a one block that says go to random position. And with this also we will add a set Y to 180. So every time it's going to start. So you can see it start from zero. Now I'm going to collect the bowels, the egg, sorry. And it's going to collect. So whenever it touches the other sprite, it just disappear from there and the score is going to increase. So that is just for the one egg. Now what we can do, we can just duplicate this from the object section. We have to click the right click and we can duplicate this four times. Now we have egg one, two, three and four. And for the fourth egg, what we are going to do, we will go to costume in the toolbox and we will change the color of this egg. Let's say if I make a little bit colorful, let's say, red a dark red now what i'm going to do in this egg the egg four this which one is the egg four this one is the egg four so whenever my bowl catches the egg four the score is going to decrease so for that what we will do we will be doing this minus one instead of increasing the score we will be doing minus one or you can do minus five as well now let's have a look how does it work if i click on the green flag the eggs are falling down and we can move this egg we can move the bowl using my arrow keys and whenever we are collecting the eggs, the score is increasing. Now I am catching the only the color one. Now see my score is going decreasing. It's even going in the minus that we don't want. So in this game, we just have to add the increasing. We need to collect the white eggs. So that's how we can design a very interesting, very small egg rush game. Thank you so much. Have a good day.